Um, so are we now entering to the world of politics? Uh, you gave an, an interview to the ANAC, one of our best newspapers, um, in which you said, no, in which you said, I, I hope to be interesting uh, enough without speaking about Geert Wilders, as I have no interest at all to speak about, and I have no interest at all to speak about what the opposition in Turkey is doing, or if it's not. Be, uh, maybe I'll no, 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 but, but add hang this. On. Because the, the journalist was a very smart guy, was off asking very petty political questions uh, okay. uh, about so, Turkey, no, 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 about no, no, but, the latest but, uh, developments, okay, which I don't so, want to comment, you know, I don't no, want no. to be interesting talking stop, about stop, the latest stop, stop. Uh, petty Turkish so, politics. Yes, yes so, I'm sorry. So, so he, being a good journalist, he asked you why not. And then your response was, because it is not my task, as a right expresses his for, a right expresses his thoughts about values, not about real politics. And I was a little bit puzzled when I read it, uh, because for me, your book Snow, like yeah, the demons of, of, of Dostoevsky, is a very political novel. Okay, now that <laughs> okay, now that you said Snow, that is my only political novel. And before uh, I published it, I said. This will be my only political novel. Not, and it was misunderstood when people said, thought that because um, bad things happened to me, they attacked me. That's why I quit writing political novels. In fact, I wrote another semi-political novel. Knights of Plague is also a political novel. But what I meant was human activity is not only political activity. It's so rich that, yes, politics for me is a narrow space that um, um, when uh, this is my curse, uh, the curse of being a Turkish, famous Turkish writer is that as soon as the journalist enters into my room, the first question is political, 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 political. Or if he is not asking political questions, he is being very generous. He is, you know, you know, People don't ask me questions about, the, about beauty as you talk about beauty. Um, and people immediately jump into political and I also you know, I also vote to, for, to my Turkish audience and also to my international audience because every interview I do in, internationally is also represented in Turkish media. I want to underline, hey, I am a, not a political person initially. My first motivation in life is the beauty that you're talking about. But I want to reach that beauty. But all these politics and gender and problems, the blacks, whatever, Kurds, they are, I am in, embedded in them and they are pulling me down. Or after 50 years of writing novels, I understand, well, you reach beauty as, as you engage with these problems. That beauty is reachable. Tolstoy wrote very self-consciously for me, the greatest of all novelists, beautiful things when his mind was very busy with bad politics, all of the politic, trashy politics that always takes you down and, and, and every journalist reminds me. So it's very complex that the power of a novelist is to be able to survive with uh, all these petty political questions, give a meaningful answer, preserve his integrity and continue to produce the beauty that we together put on a pedestal. Right, and um, um, 